report it to the cloud. All right, I think we're recording. Hey, everybody, this is Pamela and Angel, the tech chicks. Yay. <laughs> we're here today because we're going to show you how to optimize your Facebook profile to get more organic lead generation. So we're going to start off. We're going to get right to the, the eggs and bacon of it. <laughs> Not nuts and bolts, eggs and bacon. Um, and I'm going to share my screen because I'm going to show you two, both of our profiles. Um, we're going to be changing only one today, but I uh, want you to see. Okay, so can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. You can? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, great. So this is Angel's current profile on Facebook. Now, when you look at it right now, it looks like she's part of some kind of team called the chat squad, which she has been because we both work with a chat bot software. And um, I'm going to click on the banner, even though there's no call to action on the banner. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to see there's a little bit of a uh, a little bit of text here and then there's a link to a website i believe i don't think that goes into okay so that is that is taking me off of the facebook platform onto a website we're going to be updating angel's profile because angel is officially a tech chick now and Ooh. we are <laughs> we are launching our business and so we're going to be changing all of our messaging and our branding. So the first thing that I wanted to show, I want to show you my profile. Now, I, I have another business that I do as well, but I left this up because I want to show you what it looks like when you are using a funnel. So right now I have a call to action on my banner. It says register now. So this is for a free webinar for cryptocurrency. And when I click on click on the banner, what it does is it opens up this little sidebar where it says register for the free crypto webinar. So I'm going to click on that. Now you see it took me off of Facebook and onto a landing page. Now here's the here's the challenge with these funnels because everybody's teaching to put a funnel in your profile right i mean have you heard you've heard that angel right oh yeah yeah many many times yeah i mean there's so many so many people out there teaching how to optimize your profile but everybody's using a funnel so here's the thing let's say i get to this page and i'm like eh, i don't want to give my real name i don't want to give my real phone number I don't want to give my real email address, you know, or maybe I have like a, a catch all email address that I only use for stuff like this, where I don't want to be inundated with emails, right? A lot of people set up kind of like false accounts that are just kind of catch alls. But the thing is that I could put in, you know, whatever name I want, you know, maybe Snoopy. And then, you know, I'm not going to give whatever the last name Snoopy, it's a test. And then here's my phone number. And then, um, you know, I can give a bogus email. Snoopy at Gmail. So now I'm going to reserve my spot. And then here it brings me to a calendar. So my point is that people don't have to give you valid information. Okay. The other thing that they can do is they can go to this landing page and say eh, i don't want to do this and just click off of it now you've lost that lead right how do i get that I person back i i don't so that's the downside to using a funnel and the third thing is that facebook loves facebook you know we all know that and they do not like it when you have links in your profile uh, that takes people off of their platform. So we have a system, a software that solves that where we actually keep people on the Facebook platform. 
So I'm going to go now back to Angel's profile and we're going to update everything. So uh, actually, right now, what I need to do is share, let Angel share her screen because she's the one that's going to have to change her banner image. Let me just first point out the five locations where we need to optimize your profile. The first one is this, your banner or cover image. The second place is your profile image because people can click on that beautiful face and open up that picture, but she's got nothing here. And you see, she had 31 people that liked that image. What if she had a link that brought those people into Messenger? Now she could capture those leads instead of just having them say, oh, you know, your, your face is pretty. We love your smile, right? But those, that's a lost opportunity. So that's what we want to help prevent from losing organic lead opportunities. So we're going to change this. We're going to add a link over here. The other three places is your, well, another image. Oh, you don't, you don't even have a featured image. I am so bad and I'm so glad we're we doing this. Ah, this yes. Is why okay. we're doing this. <laughs> so instead of having all of these photos here, you can have, you can set it up to have a featured image. And that's another place where you want to have your link to bring people into a messenger bot just in case they want to click on it. I will show you actually, let me go back to my profile. Show you quickly on mine because I do have it set up. Come on, open up. There we go. So when you scroll down, here's see where it says featured. So when I click on that, I've got a little bit of text here. And then I also have a link that goes right into a bot. So that's that's another place that you wanna have your link. Then the two other places are in your about. So there's usually a place where you can write something. So like here, see she's got this little blurb here. She can write something there. And then also um, your basic information. You've got links that you could put here. And then details about Angel, which is your bio. And uh-oh, she's got no details. <laughs> so this is actually a perfect profile for us to use in this example. So those are the, those are the five primary locations where you want to Make sure that you have a link for, that goes into a bot to have a conversation with people. Also here too, where you have a link right underneath your profile picture. So we're gonna go into all of that, but I am going to now let Angel share her screen. Okay, okay you right. should have the privilege. <laughs> and here we go. There we go. Okay. So now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to edit your cover photo. And I know that you have a, a cover image that you're going to use. You're going to upload. Bear with me, folks. Her, her oh. laptop hasn't had enough coffee this morning. <laughs> it should be in our shared folder. Oh, uh, yes. It, the laptop hasn't had enough coffee this morning <laughs> and I even downloaded and now it should be in the image it. folder mm -hmm. yep right there there you go so we are going to download this it's the second one there you go. No, the second one. The board this, says banner. That's it. This beautiful banner right here. Look at that. It's so lovely. Okay, so we're going to get that to uh, download. 
and then I'm going to bring it right over to my profile. My computer seems to be working better, Pam. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Well, we come back over to Facebook, and it's as easy as this. Now I just have to, do you see all the stuff that I have on my computer? Yep. <laughs> That's why it needs coffee in the morning, right? Yes, I get it. I'm there with you. I've got the same thing. Tons and tons of stuff. Ta-da. Give it a second. Okay. All How right. Easy that was, right? Now, the the thing that is different about this banner image is that, number one, it's letting people know right off the bat what she is offering. Now, we'll have to um, edit the text because I, yeah, I, it, it's a little bit behind your image, but, um, oh, that's pretty good. Yep, you almost got it. That's, that's good. Probably good right there, right? Does it, can you see the optimize? Yeah, it's just that um, my screen's not big enough, but I think okay. if I save the changes. Let's see what that looks like. And if I go back. Yeah, that I looks can't. good. Yeah, we'll, I think we, right will, we, we will We um, will edit that a little bit just so that it fits a little bit better. Um, but so the thing is that when you go to Angel's profile now, you can see she's talking about optimizing your profile for profit. Have you been fried by the funnel gurus? The tech chicks are here to help. And there's a huge call to action button. So part of the Mac system, which is what we teach, it's having a magnetic offer, which here is to learn how to optimize your profile for profit have a call to action, which is the learn more button. And then the third is the communication. And we're gonna get into that. That's our chat bot. So now when you click on, whoop. Gotta get rid of these messages. Can you people. X out of that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. When you click on the banner now, click on the learn more. Nope, yep. There. Uh-huh. Now, you need to edit and put a little text in there explaining a little bit about address the pain and offer a solution. And then add your link that will bring them into a bot to have a conversation about it. Right. So the description we're going to add is about how the tech chicks can help you with your social media, optimizing your social media. Uh, so what should we write? Well, do something that's addressing their pain because most people, like you can put, are you struggling with trying to generate organic leads? Question mark. Wait, say that again. Are you struggling to generate organic leads? My brain stopped working. Question mark. We have an egg excellent solution. E G G S. <laughs> egg. Uh, dash. <laughs> yeah, I would do dash. Eggs. Eggs. Dash. Eggs. Dash. Elent. E L L E N T. <laughs> That's awesome. Solution. Solution. And then click right here. below that. Click here yeah, go ahead. to learn more. Because you always want to give people direction. If you if you didn't say click here to learn more, and you just left it at we have a solution, and you put a link, a lot of people won't click on it. So you always have to make sure that you give people direction that you want them to click the link. 
And we've got yes, this and emojis little emoji are button, right? To show yes, them right Yes, emojis where to play. are fantastic. <laughs> and then put the link. There we go. No, that's not the right one. Whoops. That's the one for your profile. Oh, put the Lord. tech chicks one there. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 actually you know made sure that we had the right links it's it's in the chat yeah i got it okay uh now i just gotta find her there we go okay we got it right here so i'm just gonna copy and paste and pam this is just so incredibly easy because if you mess up it's so easy to go back and fix. Yeah. So there right, we go. Click on done. And there you go. Now, let's just click on that real quick to see where does it go? Yeah, definitely. Ooh, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I love this part. I am in love with the bots. Yes. Okay, so. Hi, Angel. So you want to learn how the map system works to help you generate organic leads? And then you can go right through the bot. Yes, show me. Sure thing. But first, I need to consider this. How did you get here? And sometimes there's just a bit of a delay because there a is a little bit of a delay, uh, especially when you're loading images, GIFs, or videos. Mm -hmm. You saw something interesting in our profile banner, didn't you? Something that hooked you and you wanted to learn more, right? We call that the magnet. And this is what is the M in the MAC system. So there's a little uh, Wiley Coyote <laughs> with his magnet. Magnets can be powerful tools for attracting people to your profile and your offer. Ready to learn more? You betcha! betcha. <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing with this too is that you can um, create this bot and make it look like you're actually typing. So that's why you see those little dots. So if you and I were actually typing live, that's what people would see on the other end. So alrighty then, A stands for, to find out, simply click or enter your best email. Scroll down just a little, your email should be seen now. This pre-populates the user's email. Just click on that. They don't even have to enter an email. That's the beauty about this automation. So now we've got a, an organic lead. And even if Angel decided to leave the bot right now and not finish going through it, we have her email. Even if she decided to leave the bot before she gave us the email, we still have her up here in our messenger. So, this is so awesome. It's so powerful. It's so much better than working with a funnel. Okay, so fantastic. Did you know what you just did there? I know nobody told you there was going to be a quiz, but be a good sport and play along, okay? So do you know what you did? Now I'm going to say I, I took action. I took action, yes. <laughs> you could choose the other ones, and then I just kind of went off into funny little things. <laughs> You can make these bots, uh, you know, reflect your personality. So if you like to laugh, if you like to have fun, if you like to joke around, you can make it sound like this is coming right from you. That's right. You took action. That's what the A in the map system stands for. When you create a magnetic banner image, include a CTA or call to action, which leads to the final step in our system, which is, what is it? <laughs> Angel, say hello to your chat bot. 
Yes. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> How cute. Did you realize you're having a conversation with a chat bot at this very moment? Yep, you're inside a bot. <laughs> and we're having fun, right? We're having a conversation, right? That's that's what the, the C in the Mac system stands for. Let's say you have an e-commerce store, you update your profile at, or your business, your banner image every month with a magnetic offer for a nice discount on one of your products. The viewer clicks on the banner, which takes them to a link, which brings them into a conversation, into a chat bot, just like this. Now you can show off your offer because you can make the bot sound like a real conversation. It doesn't feel salesy. Has this bot experience felt salesy? Mm -hmm. It right. doesn't it sound like you're just having a conversation with me. Yeah. Goofball, right? <laughs> <laughs> so um, these are so interactive and they're fun. You can use this technique to sell products, promote events, book calls, and even recruit, like if you're in an MLM. And by having someone enter into a chat sequence, you've now captured their name in Messenger. Angel, even if they don't give you their email or phone number, you can now send them a direct message to follow up. That is so powerful. Tell me more. You can't do, do this with a funnel. More. There's more? But there's wait, more. there's more. <laughs> Sure, we'd love to give you more details about how to set up and implement this amazing strategy, which is actually what we're doing now. We're giving you the, the, the beginning stages of how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like Ryan Reynolds with a beard, doesn't it? <laughs> it yeah, I, that. I think he uh, didn't cut his hair during the pandemic. Maybe. <laughs> so the next step would be to book a free call with us. You can visit our website too. But if you mention you want, you went through our bot on our business page, we'll have a special gift for you. Click below to get into our calendar. So you don't have to click on that, but just trust me, it takes you to a Calendly link where you could schedule an appointment. So I wanted to go through this bot so that everybody can see this is what you can have on your profile whether it's Facebook, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's YouTube, anywhere that you have a social media presence, you can put a bot, that's powerful. So let's go back to your Facebook profile, Angel. And then we're gonna update your profile image. Notice I already got one like on my new page. Look at that. <laughs> Not too shabby. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so now you're going to click on the little circle uh, image. That's called your profile image. And you're going to update that. You're going to upload a new photo. Oh, oh unless you oh. put it in there already? Yeah, I need the, that photo again. So I'm going to go into the drive and get it. Okay. Uh, doo, doo, doo. And my nickname is the Messenger Maverick. So we're going to grab oh, Messenger this. Maven. That's the one. Ma Maven. There she is. <laughs> so I'm going to download that. And then I'm going to be able to grab it. There we go. Okay, now we can go back to Facebook. Oh, wrong page. <laughs> and okay. again, just to upload the photo. Found it right there. There you go. And once you know this, it's so easy. Oh, we yeah. might have to fix that. Yeah, I'll have to edit that a little bit. Because it doesn't. But we get like the it. picture. Yeah, you get the idea. I can move that messaging up a little bit. I didn't want to poke you in the eye with that yellow yeah. explosion. <laughs> yeah. 
So we'll just save that for the time being. That's fine. Okay, <laughs> now click on your image. View profile. There we go. Nope, not oh. that one. View profile picture. There we go. There you go. Now you see you've got that edit right there again. Yeah. And now you're going to do the same thing, except this time you're going to enter that first link because that that went to your little intro bot. I'm, and so I'm just going to say. So um, here you can say, hi, I'm Angel, your messenger maven. I'd love to say hello to you. A little delay there. Simply click here. Uh, punctuation's not my forte. That's okay. And then people keep messaging me. Because they love your new profile banner. I know, right? And and then put your um your intro bot. Right. Always the arrows are always nice. I like the little arrows. The little finger pointing. Yeah, the little finger pointing. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that again and paste and copy. Such a great thing. And now I can put it right over here. I think I back there. There we go. Awesome. Now mm -hmm. let's let's see. Can we take a look at your intro bot? Let's do it. Now an intro bot, it doesn't have to be as involved as the other bot. Um, this is really just to say, hi, you know, this is Angel. Nice meeting you. So let's see. Hi, Angel. Nice to meet you. Let's connect. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because you're using your own name. We can program it so that whoever the user is, like if it were me, it would have said, hi, Pamela. Nice to meet you. Right. And I love that, too, because it's, it makes you familiar with the person. Yeah. So it's building that relationship, right? Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> That's cute. Go ahead. You can read these. My name is Angel, and I am also called the Messenger Maven. Why am I called the Messenger Maven? I help you deliver the right message to your customers in a messenger bot. Cool. <laughs> That's cute. Well, you're in one right now, Angel. If you'd like to get more information, simply click or enter your best email. And there Sometimes it is you again. You just have to scroll a little bit, but it's already pre-populated. Yep. And we could do this also if you wanted to collect phone numbers, but we recommend starting off just with an email because emails are just, everybody's used to that. But once they're in your bot, once you start developing a relationship with people, and if there is a certain call to action that you have where you need a phone number, you can absolutely pre-populate that phone number in the bot as well. Super, super easy. Go ahead, keep reading. <laughs> Fantastic. There are so many ways individuals and business businesses can use bots. If you would like to explore a few ways that bots can benefit you and your business, simply schedule a call with me here. And so um, a, a disclaimer, I want everybody to know that you know, when I start out with a bot, um, I start out with like a, a form first, and then I start to change a little bit. Because once you've made the bot, right, Pam, it's so easy to change things around. Oh, yeah. So here, very easy to edit. they can book a call, which goes right to my calendar link. They can DM me on Instagram, which goes right to my DM on Instagram. Cool. So I get the message. Yeah. Or... You can click here and you can visit the Tech Chicks website to find out all our information. Awesome. That was great. I like that little bot. So yeah. anybody can do this 
to make a, a quick little intro bot so people, when they click on that, they get to learn just a little bit more about who you are, what you do, and if they are some of the people that you serve, right? So, okay, let's go back to your Facebook profile. I love that fox. <laughs> I know. I saw that and I just started laughing so hard. It was like those big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so now the other thing that I would change here, Angel, is where you have that other link to a, um, a website. I would yes. just change that and put your uh, intro bot there. Right. So you can see that I can just easily come in here and just click and change that. Uh-huh. And why won't it save it? This is too many. Oh, wait, it shouldn't be too many letters. Oh, it's it's um more than it's 16 too much. Well, I oh. would get I would do um uh, go no no leave that. I would do um just get rid of certified pro messenger marketer i would just yeah. put um the messenger maven and let's see if if that works maybe not i think so get yeah. rid of th get rid of the because it's three characters too much there you go perfect look at that Yeah, they don't they don't allow you to um oh wait, what does that say? Post your bio to the news feed. Yeah, you could do that too. Why not? Share now. Yeah, so now it goes out to everybody. There you go. Yeah, it goes out to everybody. And um, you know, she might get some clicks. Again, this is all about generating organic leads. So whatever you can do. The the other thing that um in the first bot that we went through every month if you have different offers things that you sell or just other things that you want people to be aware of every time you change your profile banner it goes into the news feed so it's like getting a free ad without spending the money on it so you could change your profile banner once a week i mean you know you might it might be a little overkill but if you've got lots of stuff going on and different products and things, that's a great way to get more eyes on your stuff because every time you change it, it goes in your newsfeed. Right. So let's now go to, um, let's go down, scroll down to your, where it says uh, below hobbies, where it says hobbies, add hobbies. What's the QR code you have there? Uh, the QR code goes into a bot that talks about the um, personality methodology that we use. Oh, okay. Oh, so then yeah, get out of this. That's not the one I wanted. So that actually is your, uh, scroll down a little more. Oops. Yeah, edit feature. There we go. Let's see what that says. So now, the, okay, so you already have, um, a, let, click on that so we can see what it says. Yeah, it's really hard it's to hard read. It's hard to read. Um, see where it says title collection? I wonder if you can put something in there. Some kind of words in there? What's your call to action on it? Because I can't read oh, it. Uh, my call to action was, I dare you to scan this. <laughs> <laughs> do that put that put that in title see what see what happens there mm. uh, oh well i dare you to scan okay <laughs> that's actually quite funny you know what i would actually leave that right now you can always update that but that's actually very funny so here's the other thing and we're not going to get into um all of the technical nitty gritty however we can link a bot to a qr code so if you wanted to do something like that you could that's actually a pretty cool idea for your featured image i like that so but for you guys who are watching this you might have um i don't know maybe you maybe you offer coaching and you want to put 
you know, an image of you and then a little bit of text like you saw on my image and then your link with the call to action that goes into the bot. You could do that too. But I really like that, Angel. That's a great idea. Yeah. So now, go ahead. I just wanted to say, Pam, that we can certainly make this bigger in Canva. So it takes up this whole space. Yes. And um, that's, the, that's what I'm going to do next. Yes, because we that, want that's... this to be as big as this block. Yes, that's a great point. Absolutely. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Canva is a free tool that you can use to edit images. And um, if you if you go to Canva, you can just do a search for Facebook profile, Facebook banner, Facebook featured image, and it'll give you a template with the correct dimensions. So it's a really, really fantastic tool. So, um, okay, so that's great. That was a great point, Angel, thank you. Um, now the last two places are in the about section. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we want to change this right. to... It would be oh, edit yeah. workplace. Edit. To the tech check. Yes, and we should have a page. There we are. Click yes, on that. Oops. No. <laughs> go, click on the tech checks. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to change this to co founder. There we go. Oh. And then. We're going to change this to our tagline, which is um, uh, give it to me, Pam. <laughs> if you go in uh, I, I don't know what you want, what you want to put in there on our on our web page. Uh, have you been fried by the funnel gurus? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, no, do you want me to go to our web page? Sure, go ahead. Now everyone can see our web page. <laughs> Got right there. Just put it right there with a little chick. So we had. Um, how about if I put this? Let us help you unscramble your marketing messages because sure. I think we can only put a little bit. I, okay. I really like this right here. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! And then you would put the bot the tech chick bot in there because you always want, wherever you can put a link, that's where you want to put a link. Exactly. Because again, if somebody clicks on that, then they may be like, oh, what's this? You know, maybe they didn't click on your banner image. Maybe they just went to your about section and then they see the link there. Um, get, uh, oops. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I went through our bot again. It's so funny. That's okay. So let me grab it again. It's in the Zoom. Yeah. Chat. Yeah, I got it. Okay. See, and this is, I mean, really, and it's it is really so easy. I don't know why it's not. Oh, maybe it's too many. Is there a um a, I don't think I don't think so. I wonder why it won't. Oh, there we go. There you go. Just don't forget. Patient. Wait, don't save it yet. It, remember, after it says messages, you have to give a call to action. You have to let people know what you want them to do. Click to learn more. And there unfortunately, we can't put the arrow down, but that's fine. That's okay. And click save. There you go. And then the last place, um, you see where it says details about you? There you go. And then about you and that you're gonna basically put the same exact thing there. Just go back, go back to um, work in education and just copy and paste it.
that just makes it easier. Yeah, and then your message is very consistent. Yep. There you go. Yay! So now you have a fully optimized Facebook profile. Woohoo! You Woo now implemented the Mac system and you are going to be generating some organic leads. And this is what we want to help people do. Now, if this interests you and you'd like to get more information, you can go to Angel's profile and go through the bot and enter your information there. Or you can go and visit our website, thetechchicks.com. Um, and we, we, we are offering a nice little PDF booklet, ebook for only $5.99 that goes through this entire process of how to set up your profile using the Mac system. Now, if you are not familiar with how to build a bot, we are here to help you do something like that. If you would like to set up a consultation with us, we would be more than happy to speak with you. Just go to our website and contact us through there and uh, we'll have a chat with you. Thank How you that so much for helping me with my banner. Oh, now, you're very welcome. Um, thank you for, I for hear letting a few us... pings. I've already got four likes. That's, That's how quickly awesome. people see that you have a new banner and something more to say to them. It really makes a difference. Absolutely. So this is this is why we're here. This is what we want to do. We want to help people get get more exposure. And we're also going to have a part two to this where we're going to talk about how do you get more eyes on your profile? How do you drive more traffic to your Facebook profile? We're gonna do a part, part two uh, on exactly how to do that, how to interact in groups and doing posts and liking people's comments and all of that. We're gonna do that as well. But this is just the first step to get you started, to optimize your profile, to start doing some organic lead generation. So hope you found this helpful. Hope everybody has a fantastic day. We look forward to hearing from you. And the tech chicks are over and out. Yeah. Over bye easy. Bye. Over easy and out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.